Hey everybody, and welcome back to DCW Universe Mode. This time, coming back to WWE 2K19, a game that actually works and is actually fun to play. Uh, no knock on 2K20 that much, but I'm excited to be back here on 2K19, but the action is still as hot as ever here on DCW, and we have an exciting show for you here tonight. A main event of Finn Balor, Mr. Money in the Bank, versus Sean Spears. That is going to be excellent. And then we have the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, versus the Goddess of WWE, Alexa Bliss. That's going to be an excellent matchup as well. But kicking us off here today, we have the DCW Tag Team Champions, Gallows and Anderson, in a tag team match against the B Team, Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel. I, I've, I, I know I've been kind of generous to the B Team of uh, Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel, but I want them to succeed. I want them to do well. So I'm giving them this one-on-one -on -one match or two-on-two -two matchup against the Tag Team Champions, the new Tag Team Champions, after they defeated the Undisputed Era on a following or on a older episode of DCW Universe Mode just a few weeks ago. But it'll be interesting to see how the attitude has now changed here in Balor Club now that the Balor Club holds gold here in DCW. And you know, a lot of these superstars here, now that we're back on WWE 2K19, you guys know that there are a lot of superstars on this roster that want to make a name for themselves. Now it's a new environment, a new feeling to the universe mode. Much more quicker, fast-paced offense here. Bo Dallas starting things off with Carl Anderson. You know Carl Anderson celebrated with his hot Asian wife about that tag team title victory. Incredible scene at the end of that matchup. Ooh, with the Balor Club's Gallows and Anderson regaining the DCW tag team titles. But you got to wonder what the mindset is of uh, the Undisputed Era after losing those tag team titles. So it'll be interesting to see where they go next here in DCW. Also, uh, I'll mention later on, we have some huge news concerning what will happen with Lars Sullivan after his victory over Johnny Gargano. Uh, but with the added assist of Adam Cole getting involved, oh, Carl Anderson looking for the cutter. We now have a time and place of when Lars Sullivan will face The Undertaker for the DCW World title. I'll talk about that Ooh, a little bit later on. Carl Anderson launching Bo Dallas into the corner. Curtis Axel able to run the interference and get involved, pulling down the ropes on Carl Anderson, giving Bo Dallas a little bit of recovery time. Now Carl Anderson knocking Curtis Axel off the apron. Bo Dallas, ooh, atomic drop. Bo Dallas, yeah, one of the family members of his, the IRS man, an incredible old time professional wrestler. Love for himself to get back to the lengths or the heights that the IRS man did. A former NXT champion, Bo Dallas is, yet still hasn't been able to find the same type of success here in DCW. Same thing for Curtis Axel, really. Big time superstar that came with a big family lineage and has yet to find his footing here in DCW. Ooh, former Intercontinental Champion in WWE, but he needs to find success in the tag team rankings. And I mean, they call themselves the B team, but B plus doesn't exactly help in a lot of situations. I mean, I know it worked for Daniel Bryan, but in the tag team division, with such tag teams as Gallows and Anderson and the Undisputed Era, you've really got to get yourself motivated even further. Speaking of which, Carl Anderson motivating he and his teammate Gallows to win this tag team matchup here. Curtis Axel completely taken out of the equation. Carl Anderson sending Bo Dallas off the ropes. Oh, double A spine buster. Some spine on the pine. Cover. A kick out by Bo Dallas. Jeez, Curtis Axel nearly saw the matchup flash before his eyes as he got up on the apron and just got completely knocked out again. And it looks like Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows want to put this match away. Here we go. Lining them up for the magic killer. Gallows into the cover, instant replay on the finisher. Magic killer, Gallows into the cover. Carl Anderson stopping Bo Dallas from getting involved. And the tag team champions are gonna pick up a win here tonight over the B team. Still no luck for the B team here, man. I keep giving them these opportunities to try and improve, but I don't know if it's really working. I don't know. Hopefully someday something clicks for these two. But, I mean, I feel like it kind of starts with that name, the B-Team. You kind of need to get rid of that. You need to find something better that fits you guys. 
But heck, a great first victory here for the new tag team champions, Gallows and Anderson. Finish it off with this thing of beauty, the Magic Killer. Normally it's Gallows who's uh, in the suplex position, but so nice it works both ways. But um, congratulations to the new tag team champions. Wait, what? Oh, really? Oh, uh, it looks like we're about to go backstage. We have an update from one of the men that was attacked by the Undisputed Era. Let's check in with Matt Hardy. My goodness, and it seems like things have gone from bad to worse for the Undisputed Era. Angering Matt and Jeff Hardy, the Hardy Boys, are now broken. I cannot wait to see them back in the DCW ring. But coming up next here, we have Asuka versus Alexa Bliss. This is going to be a very interesting matchup. Asuka trying to get back on the hunt for the DCW Women's Championship. Rosemary retaining the title on the last episode against Mia Yim inside a steel cage. Asuka looking for the quick roll-up pin. Asuka gave up her spot in the Battle Royal to become the number one contender. She gave it to Candice LeRae. Candice LeRae got cheated out of that matchup, basically, by Rosemary when she implemented that Book of the Shadow, as she calls it. But now Asuka being gifted this matchup here, or not gifted, earned this matchup here against Alexa Bliss for the good sportsmanship, giving Candice LeRae that, uh, giving her that Battle Royale spot. Except Alexa Bliss friend herself in this matchup with Asuka because she basically called Asuka an idiot for giving up such a golden opportunity to possibly challenge for the ECW Women's Championship. Asuka said, you think you can do better? You think you can defeat me? Let's go one-on-one -on -one here tonight on DCW. And that's what basically brings us to this contest here tonight. Oop, Alexa Bliss, nonchalant cover. What the heck kind of cover is that? <laughs> you gotta get chest to chest, Alexa. There's no way you're going to be able to get a good pin on that. Ooh, big four shot to Asuka. Bliss looking for the DDT. Asuka, great counter. Ooh, tried to go for the palm strike. Oh, and Alexa Bliss breaking the back of Asuka. And now Asuka having to climb the ropes, pulling herself back to her feet. Jeez, Bliss just breaking the back. I, I, you never really see that in the women's division. Oh, and then decapitator under the bottom rope by Bliss. Could you imagine if she was able to defeat Asuka here tonight? Oh, she might be able to. Using the feet on the ropes, trying to get the early pin. Thankfully, Asuka able to kick out. There's no way that I would have wanted that matchup to end like that. Oh, running hip attack in the corner. And Bliss falling down to the bottom. Oh, running in. Oh, drop kick just as Bliss was getting up to her feet. And now Asuka is loving it. I'm sure Alexa Bliss is not. Ooh, shots are good. Locking her again. Ooh, near the face. Now looking for a big neck breaker to Asuka. That's going to do a lot of damage to the neck. Could be softening her up for that Bliss DDT. But right now, could be looking at an insult to injury with the Disney's, as she likes to call it. And now Bliss has her set up, perhaps, with that DDT. Asuka, she's got to have it well scouted here. Oh, Bliss has her locked for the DDT. Asuka, great counter. Oh, big forearm to the face. Bliss is dazed, and she gets hit with a kick by Asuka. And wisely rolling out of the ring. Bliss trying to stay away from Asuka. Asuka daring her to get back in the ring. And now Bliss takes advantage, pulling down the bottom rope. Oop, tries a clubbing shot. Asuka able to counter. And now Asuka on the attack. Double clotheslines, comeback moment. Super kick to Asuka, or super kick to Alexa, I should say. And now Asuka dragging Alexa Bliss up, spinning her around. And you know what's coming. The Asuka lock locked in on the goddess. Oh, and Alexa Bliss taps out to Asuka. 
Huge win here tonight for Asuka on her way back to the DCW Women's Championship. Rosemary, you better be watching because that could definitely be your next challenger for the DCW Women's title. Asuka putting on a hell of a show here against Alexa Bliss. Bliss had a couple openings here where I thought she had the chance at winning, especially when she hit her with these brutal knees. Look at this. Bam! And then the backflip into another set of knees. But in the end, the Asuka lock is very rare for people to escape the Asuka lock. And tonight was no exception. Alexa Bliss taps out almost immediately to the powerful submission of the Empress of Tomorrow. Congratulations to Asuka. Heck, we may be looking at a future matchup between Asuka and the DCW Women's Champion Rosemary. And, uh, wait, really? Oh, all right. Uh, apparently I'm getting a message that we are getting contact with the women's champion right now. So let's listen in and see what Rosemary has to say to Asuka. Well, geez, next week seems to be a pretty stacked show. Uh, I, I I now get to mention what's going on on next week's show. Apparently now we're going to have Asuka versus Rosemary one-on-one. -on -one. Not sure if that's going to be a title match or not. But I can also reveal that next week we will hear from Adam Cole on his attack against Johnny Gargano. And also in the main event of next week, it will be The Undertaker versus Lars Sullivan for the DCW World Heavyweight Championship. That is going to be huge. And you know one of the men in this matchup here tonight, Finn Balor, Mr. Money in the Bank, is definitely going to be keeping an eye on that matchup as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Sean Spears, one of the superstars that is now making his presence known that we're back here on WWE 2K19. Trying to make his presence known by defeating Mr. Money in the Bank, a man that is at the front line of becoming a future world champion here in DCW. Ooh, but can the quote-unquote chairman of DCW, he's not actually a chairman, and if anything, I'm higher up in the rankings for a chairman than, uh, than Sean Spears here. Spears looking for a power bomb on Balor. Oh, Balor able to flip out of it into a quick pin. Could this be it? Here we go, cover. No, nope. Sean Spears able to kick out. Finn Balor winning that briefcase, that money in the bank, and then going on and defeating the Undisputed Era along with his other Balor Club brethren at Dead Man Walking. And now he seemingly has a clear path to the DCW World Heavyweight title. It's just about when he wants to cash in. Oh, Sean Spears with a brutal suplex out on the floor, taking advantage of the matchup. Oh, and Sean Spears definitely being more aggressive here in his debut match here on DCW. You know he wants to make a good first impression. Ooh, you only get one chance to make a good impression. And one way to do that for Sean Spears is defeating Mr. Money in the Bank here tonight in the main event of DCW. Ooh, Sean Spears setting up Balor on the top rope. Bad intentions here. Ooh, Balor in a bad place. Ty Dillinger in a good place, able to plant Balor on the mat with a superplex, crashing and burning down to the mat below. And now Spears into the cover on Balor. There's two, and a kick out by Balor. Sean Spears, you gotta stay focused on him. We saw that momentary hesitation after the two count. Gotta stay on it. Otherwise, things like this happen. Balor gets the chance to recuperate. Flips out of the back suplex, and now he's back in control of the match. Oh, running chop in the corner. Follows it up. Running drop kick on the side of the cranium. Jeez. He might take out the hearing of Sean Spears. Although, then again, Sean Spears is married to Peyton Royce, and as we've seen Peyton Royce talk a lot on WWE TV, there's no doubt about it. Sean Spears wouldn't want to hear all that at home, but... Right here, right now, all he wants to hear is the announcers say his name as the victor, but Finn Balor showing up the strength, putting down Sean Spears with a brutal slam. The strength of Balor coming into play here. What a slam out of nowhere. Balor looking for the DDT, perhaps. Oh, nope. Going into a rest hold. 
Very rare that you see competitors here in DCW do these rest holds. You know Finn Balor may be having a hard time trying to put down Sean Spears. He's trying to weaken him. I mean, the bloody Sunday, that lifting DDT takes a lot of strength to lift up a guy like Sean Spears. And after delivering such a brutal slam to Sean Spears earlier, perhaps it took out a lot of strength from Balor. Oh, Balor countering out of a DDT. Pele kick to Spears. And now here we go. Finn Balor could be locking him for Bloody Sunday. Nope, Sean Spears, great counter. Flips him out. Dropping the fist down on Balor. And now Balor having to roll out of the ring. What is Sean Spears' idea here? Oh, doesn't matter. Finn Balor meets him with a forearm. Oh, and then the phenomenal forearm. Shout out to his Balor Club brethren, AJ Styles. Now looking for Bloody Sunday. Sean Spears able to counter out again. Oh, and Sean Spears with the face buster. Almost like a stunner. Cover on Balor. Could this be it? The biggest upset for Sean Spears. No. Balor able to kick out. Jeez, that stunner came out of nowhere. Now it looks like Sean Spears may be lining up for another one. Wasting a little time. Here we go. Oh, Balor able to counter out. Shell off Sean Spears. Balor sending Spears into the corner. And you know what he may be looking for here. Lining him up. Here we go. Running drop kick into the corner. Sean Spears back bouncing off that middle turnbuckle. And usually the shotgun drop kick is a precursor to this. Here we go. Coup de grace from off the top rope. Double foot stop. And now Balor not going for the cover. He wants that extra oof to put down Sean Spears. It's a bloody Sunday for Sean Spears. The chairman planted on the mat and Balor picks up the win here on DCW. Mr. Money in the Bank rolls on with another successful victory here tonight, this time over Sean Spears. Spears, I, I mean, I have no doubt in saying it, Sean Spears nearly put away Balor with that stunner. But somehow, some way, Mr. Money in the Bank was just able to kick out. Look at this brutal stunner, almost a knee face buster. He landed right on his knee. That may be a broken nose for Balor, but somehow he was able to come back, hit that shotgun drop kick, hit the coup de grace, and then put away Sean Spears with the bloody Sunday. A move so brutal we can't even see the replay of it. Wow, what a great first successful episode back here on 2K19. I hope to continue the awesome action here for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. This has been DCW. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next week where it is Lars Sullivan versus The Undertaker for the DCW World Heavyweight Championship. I'll see you next week.